Hey everyone and welcome to part 2 of this uh, chess tutorial series and in this part we're going to create the king and the bishop. Okay, so uh, let's um, unhide the uh, reference image and take a closer look at the uh, bishop reference and then let's uh, move the 3D cursor to the uh, bottom center of the uh, bishop and then press shift A and let's add a uh, single vert go to uh, vertex selection and then press E then X to extrude on the X axis and I'm going to drag it a bit downwards press G then set to grab uh, these vertices on the uh, set axis and press E then set to extrude on the set axis and then E to extrude and I'm going to speed up this part as well because uh, there's just extrusion so uh, use the reference image to uh, extrude okay and uh, then E then set to extrude on the set axis and then at the end we need to uh, Make sure that the uh, last vertex is in the center of the uh, bishop. So uh, let's set the location to zero on the x-axis for uh, that vertex. And then press tab to go back to object mode. And then let's uh, save before we continue. So uh, give it a name and then enter to save. And then next we need to add the uh, screw modifier just like we did for the um, rook and the uh, pawn and then let's add a uh, subdivision surface modifier as well and uh, let's go into solid view then press tab for edit mode and then hold in alt and shift to select multiple circles of uh, edges and then you can increase the uh, min cruise value. I'll set it to one. And then next we need to uh, make the hole. So uh, let's add the uh, bull tool under add-ons. And then unhide the empty. And uh, let's uh, enable the overlay as well. So press shift A and uh, let's add a cube. Then press S to scale it down. Then S, then set to scale it on the z-axis. And then press R to rotate. And we're going to use this object to uh, create the hole using the bool tool. So press S, then Y to scale it on the y-axis. Then press S, then set twice to scale it on the uh, local z-axis. And then next, we uh, need to use the uh, bull tool. So uh, let's start off by um, hiding the reference image and holding shift and select the bishop. Then use the bull tool and then under brush boolean, you uh, select difference. And when you now select the uh, object and move it, you can see that the hole for the bishop changes. So we can press S to scale it down, or uh, R, then Y to rotate it on the y-axis, and then S, then set twice to scale it on the local z-axis, and then S, then X to scale it on the x-axis. Okay, so I think uh, this looks fine. grab it a bit as well and uh, then we can select it and when we increase the number of subdivisions it looks fine so I'm going to keep it like this keep in mind that if you have too many subdivisions the uh, computer that you have might not render it so I recommend setting it to either four or five maximum 
Okay, and uh, now we can continue and create the uh, king. So uh, let's enable the overlay and move to the uh, center bottom of the uh, king. And for this one, we will also uh, use the uh, same method for the bottom of uh, the piece. So let's move the uh, 3D cursor, then press Shift A, and add a uh, single vertex, and then press G, then set, grab it on the set axis, make sure to go to wireframe view, and then press E, then X, to extrude on the x-axis. And then press E, then set, to extrude on the uh, z-axis. And then once again, I'm going to speed up uh, this part. It's just a, a lot of extrusion. So something like this. We're going to add the uh, cross later as a uh, separate object. So we're only going to uh, extrude to uh, this point. And then we need to end it in the uh, center. So set the uh, vertex to uh, zero on the X axis. And then let's save. I'm going to call it uh, King. And uh, then I'm going to hide the uh, empty, press tab for object mode. And then I'm going to use the screw modifier. I'm also going to set the uh, Y location of this vertex to zero so that we uh, remove the hole. Then apply the screw modifier and add a subdivision surface modifier as well. And then next, we're going to uh, flat out some of the surfaces by using uh, the um, increase values. So uh, go to edge select, hold in Alt and Shift to select uh, multiple rings of uh, edges. You can increase the increase value. And you can also increase the uh, increase values of uh, other edge rings as well. But uh, that's optional. Okay, so uh, let's save before we continue. Just click on the plus sign and then save. And then uh, let's use the reference image and add a cube. Press S to uh, scale it down. Then press G and set to grab it on the z-axis. And then press S to uh, scale the uh, cube down. And then we need to uh, extrude the uh, sides of the uh, cube. So uh, let's go into edit mode by pressing tab and select both uh, faces on each side. And then let's go to individual origins as the pivot point and then press E to uh, extrude. And then I'm going to extrude the uh, top face as well. And then press E to uh, extrude. And uh, then let's extrude the uh, bottom so that we get the uh, cross shape. You can adjust the uh, size and position of the cross depending on um, how large you want the uh, cross to be. And then G, that's it, grab it on the Z axis. And then the next step will be to add some bevel to the cross to make the edges a bit smoother. So uh, press Ctrl A and apply the scale. And uh, let's hide the reference image and then press A in edit mode, then Ctrl B for bevel and then use the mouse wheel to add additional segments so that uh, the cross becomes even smoother. So something like this should be fine. 
And then we can also add a subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of polygons, at least in the render. And I think that looks fine. So uh, that's it for the king. And in the next videos, we're going to uh, make the queen and the horse. So let's save. And uh, then you can go to part three once that's out. So file, save as, click on the plus sign and save. And thanks to uh, Mr. Monkey Shoes and Terry Davis for supporting the channel on Patreon.